guys asked me to make strawberry jam uh, but I want to make strawberry preserve <laughs> before I make the jam and jam is very simple and very basic I may even put a recipe for jam on the blog but let's make the preserve and what we need for that we need strawberries and the better your preserve will um, taste if you choose good organic and very flavorful berries and also choose the smallest possible well here in U us or california they have a jumbo on real size strawberries with those you better make jam than um, preserves so, because i was able to finally find this small and tiny and good looking strawberries i decided to do the preserve okay we need strawberries and we need sugar also we will need a juice of one lemon a little bit of water and a large pot um, well this is a good recipe for a few uh, jars uh, if you want to make bigger one be sure to get a white pot you don't want to smash your berries because we want um, well, it's a preserve, you want to have your berries um, all nice and intact. Okay, so we have everything. I'll grab the water, a little bit water, just to start the cooking. And I'm going to place all my strawberries into the pot, just like that. And then sprinkle with sugar. This may look a lot of sugar. Yes, it is a lot of sugar because it's a preserve and it preserves <laughs> the berries from being uh, destroyed okay i know it's not the good word it's not the right word it's not destroyed but anyways and we need the juice of lemon and we're going to start cooking this on low to medium heat to bring it to a slow boil it will take a while i, I i'd say probably 15 to 25 minutes and we're not stirring this we're gonna wait and see what happens and usually with uh, preserves that needs um, with this kind of preserve you better uh, you better uh, mix it with just mix the pot instead of using a spoon or a spatula just like that so this will take a couple of minutes and i'll see you when it starts to boil we have we need to do one step and then another step and then it will be done. Okay, now this has been boiling Mom, about 20 minutes now. And I want you to see how it looks because we need to... And it was on medium to... Uh, I said medium to low at, at first, but it's medium to high. So I'm going to lower the heat. And again, continue to stirring arca mirope, to stirring the pot like this, just like that. And as you see, there is a foam. Can they see the foam first? Forming on top of this uh, preserve. What you're gonna do when you lower the heat, once in a while you would simply come and remove that foam. It's not gonna bother, it's nothing like to worry about, but uh, you want your preserve to have nice red, beautiful color without any white foam on it that's the purpose other than that if you want it with foam let, let, let the foam in there so i'll continue cooking this about another 25 to 30 minutes and then we'll test the syrup if it's thick enough sets uh, quickly then it's done if not we'll cook some more uh, some more This has been cooking about 25 minutes now and it's time to test the syrup. For that you just need to grab some of that syrup, just enough to cover the plate. Just a little bit, not too much. And let it cool down 3 to 5 minutes and then we'll do the magic test. We'll make the stripe with our spoon. This is uh, too hot now for test. So if, it, if the stripe holds for a few seconds, you can see the white stripe. Um, it means it's ready. If it's still not cooked, uh, it means it's not ready. <laughs> it's time to test the syrup. And as I said, you will simply 
draw a line with your spoon and see if uh, you can see the white mark just like that see it, it gathers around very quickly which means it's not ready yet so I, I'd say a couple of more minutes five not more than five minutes you don't want to overcook as I mentioned you don't want to have dark color for your preserve so I'll let this cook another five minutes and I'm not even gonna test the syrup because it's gonna be ready you don't have to do this I just placed it in a glass pot so you can see how it looks and you can see how all the berries are whole and not smashed they look just perfect and for you to decide whether you want to um, place them in sterilized jar or simple any glass jar and save it in fridge I sterilized a couple of jars for um, preserving so I'll do a tutorial on how to sterilize and do the preserve the canning video okay and that's it very simple very easy and it took me about 45 minutes uh, to finish the preserve whole <laughs> full recipe will be on my blog at herine.com check it out and I want to check out the taste I see it one mm. this is so good and it looks much better than all smashed jam uh, I, I like using this with my cheesecake and I love this with my tea that's it I don't know how you like it but you know the recipe will be on the blog you can check it out make your own preserve when you get small nice looking berries thank you everyone for watching remember to subscribe to my channel like the video if you liked it and I'll see you soon yeah we're done